Now, yesterday was National Day of Prayer and Reconciliation. And in Kitwe, President Ed Galungu joined thousands of people at Inkana Stadium for the prayers under the theme Promoting Peace, Reconciliation and Consolidated National Unity in Diversity. Posha Lala was there and brought us this report. It was a time to pray and be merry. And to this, some sang songs of praise while others danced. This was the National Day of Prayer and Fasting, commemorated today in Kitwe at Nkana Stadium. And the turnout was impressive. Thousands of people trooped to the Osakire Bay Stadium, which is home to 12 time Premier League champions Nkana. The stadium, which has a seating capacity of 15,000, was packed to the tilt. This is why some people had to squat in the stands while others mounted tents on the turf to keep the heat at bay. Zambians from all walks of life attended the prayers. Some were dressed in national colors while others were in their respective church attires. Yeah, it, it's very important in our nation in the sense that we need God as a nation. We are called a Christian nation and this is the time we realize that we need to go back to where we belong. And that's the kingdom of God. We need to seek the first love that we knew as a Christian, as Christian, yes. Naisa kono, pamla ndo akobati, tuliku mpela, umuwa kuliku mpela. So tufile tuwa, tuwa lumba nyakavumba, wakutusunga, nishita yonze, yukisa tufika pari ino nishita. We are here to worship, uh, to reconcile. Uh, it's about uh, fasting and reconciliation. Uh, we have come here to fellowship with our friends, to reconcile one, with one another. Both the ruling and opposition political parties were present. The political parties represented included the Patriotic Front, the Movement for Mount Party Democracy, the Green Party and the National Democratic Congress. Others were the New Generation Party, Zambia Republican Party and the New Congress Party. What we are saying, more especially as Copper Belt, is, uh, is that uh, we need to come as one, as one Zambia and one nation, to come and pray to God and uh, seek the face of God so that we can have uh, uh, a good direction uh, in terms of economy, in terms of uh, political uh, stability. Our heart's desire is that ultimately, even as we pray, uh, God's hand will reach out beyond only us who are here, but including the UPND, that possibly there will also be catalysts for building uh, national unity and peace for the country. So a day like this one, which is uh, intended to uh, reconcile the, the people of, of Zambia, we, 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 we come together and uh, look, look at our problems and see how we can reconcile. I think it's a very, very important day. And various prominent people from the Copper Belt and beyond were also present. So I'm very, very, very happy, very delighted that people have actually come out in numbers. And I think this is the way it should be. This is the patriotism that our president has been talking about. This is the Ubuntu. This is the spirit that we have always known as Zambians. And most importantly, one of the, the, the cornerstones of this country is the peace that we have experienced for the last 53 years. Again, it's just showing us that we are united as a, a country. And for sure, we are one Zambia, one nation. We want God to heal our land, especially where production is concerned in terms of agriculture output as Zambia is trying to migrate from uh, mono economy that's dependent on copper to agriculture. So I would just encourage my fellow youths that even as we are participating in this important uh, event of uh, National Day of Prayer and Fasting and Reconciliation, it should not only end at us copper belt hosting it, but it should also translate in our action as we go out there embracing one another. Some of the people at the stadium hoisted a huge banner thanking President Edgar Lungu for designating October 18th as the National Day of Prayer and Fasting. All throughout the stadium, it was visible that people were fasting. There was no sight of food apart from the bottles of mineral water which were being given free of charge. The National Day of Prayer and Fasting was held under the theme Repentance, Promoting Peace and Reconciliation, Consolidating National Unity in Diversity. This year is the second consecutive year the National Day of Prayer and Fasting is being commemorated. Paul Shalala, ZMBC News in Kitwe. Thank you so much, Paul, for that uh, report. And in the studio, still on the side.